Alright guys, um, doing a video of how to set up a CL2. Uh, so a couple things that you'll need um, to set up your CL2 for your tank is um, obviously a CL2 tank. Uh, this is a 5 pound tank. Um, you can get um, a 10 pound which is a little bit taller. Um, you can get uh, paintball size ones, which is little small ones. Um, the only thing with the paintball is the adapter for that. It's going to be a little different. Um, so just take that into consideration. Um, most of the... Uh, so you, you, you basically just have to match the regulator um, uh, to, to the correct sizing of your um, tank that you're going to buy. So this is a 5 pound tank. Um, and depending on your tank size, um, um it's, this one's going in on a um, on a 17 gallon. It'll last me probably like a whole year. It depends on how much you use it. If you use 24/7, if you have it on and off, it depends on the rates. But this is going to last me a while. Um, and you'll need a regulator. Um, this is just a standard Milwaukee, um, the MA957 uh, um, regulator. It's a really basic one. This is kind of like a, a standard um, regulator that everyone kind of gets. It's cheap, affordable, and it works pretty pretty well. Um, so you'll need that. Uh, you'll need some sort of diffusal um, to basically uh, cut the bubble size into finer bubble size so it can actually diffuse into the water. So you're basically trying to create small amount of bubbles. Um, for the CO2 to diffuse into the water. Uh, that's basically the goal. Um, and some sort of lining um, for your CO2. It could just be any tubing. Um, a lot of people go black uh, tubing. It's a little bit stronger. And um, it just kind of like, I guess, blends in better. Um, but I, I just have this lying around this uh, air tube. So you'll need that. Um, some optional stuff. Um, you can get um, uh, a power head um, basically to further diffuse this bubble into finer bubbles. Um, there's different uh, versions of this. There's a little like um, a counter thing where it kind of goes like in a spiral. Uh, basically what that does is um, it's in the water longer and basically when it's traveling in the circle it gives the uh, CO2 uh, time to diffuse into the water before it actually reaches out here and goes in to find our bubbles. Um, so that's that. Um, so once you have that, um, let me show you what kind of tools you'll need um, to set this up. Alright, so um, what you need is you need a crescent wrench or a wrench that's big enough to fit this dude here. Um, because you'll need to basically first do it by hand and then crank it down to make sure it's uh, sealed tight. Um, it does come with a washer, so you'll need this uh, crush washer. Um, and if yours has a bubble counter on it, um, what you end up having to do is basically take the top off. It comes with an old ring here. And this piece here is on top, so I just unscrewed it, put it in here. Helping me out here, huh, Luna? You're just basically going to place this in there. Screw it down. It's tight. It doesn't have to be too tight. Just tight enough so it's good. Um, on here, you're basically going to fill this um, up with some sort of fluid. This is like bubble counter fluid. Um, basically, the viscosity of this is just different uh, from the CO2 bubbles that are coming out in water. Uh, so basically, you're just basically able to see um, the bubbles from it. Um, that's all that is. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can just use anything that has a different viscosity. So I usually like to fill it up maybe halfway. Um, this stuff really doesn't ever like evaporate, so um, you're good there. So basically, fill it up like that, 
you're basically going to take the other piece here, put it back all together, put it on top, and you're basically just going to seal Screw it in. You're going to take your wrench here and basically make sure it's tight. And um, basically just hold this unit here so that it's kind of just straight or somewhat straight. Um, when you're tightening it um, and, and uh, so basically this is all set up here uh, you're basically going to throw this line here onto the tank so let me pull it over to the tank and uh, this this unit right here is just it's an easy uh, it's just a suction cup so all you need to do is just toss it in there with a little suction cup stick it to the wall um, and that's it there. Um, so let me go ahead and move it over there close to the tank and we'll hook this up. Alright guys, so I have it hooked up. Um, so basically, um, it's sitting on the side of the tank here. The, the little diffuser dude sitting right there in the tank. Um, the other thing about this uh, is you want to keep it kind of like in, a, in an area that's not exposed to the sun. Um, because it's pretty... Uh, when you touch it, it's really cold. So when it gets hot, you're basically um, it could be bad. Um, so anyways, um, so anyways, so we're ready to basically turn it on. So basically, I'm gonna plug it in, and that click you heard was the solenoid turning on. Um, next thing you want to do is make sure like these. Okay, so you have two knobs. Um, this one kind of like um, is your um, your um, so there's two knobs. This is like your fine tune knob, and this is kind of like your general big one. Um, so make sure like this is kind of um, loose uh, initially. And this one, you kind of want to make it uh, tight. Okay. So once you're ready, you're basically going to go ahead and open this. So open this all the way. All right. And Basically, um, when you tighten this down, you should see the PSI here. Uh, if you have a 2 gauge, it should rise. And you want to aim for, um, for approximately 20. Okay, actually. Alright, so... Couple of things. Um, this uh, this gauge here is, is actually broken, um, so I actually have to email the uh, where I bought, where I bought this from. Um, well, anyways, um, getting back on with the setup um, here. Um, as you increase this, you're basically putting more pressure, um, allowing more pressure to to come from the tank. Um, usually, you try to aim for um, 10 to 20 psi on here since I can't really reach the gauge um, if you loosen it a lot here and basically this will drop so I'm just gonna increase it a little bit all right and then on this side um, for your bubbles you want to start off with maybe two per second um, so right now it's maybe like one and a half and that you can fine tune this basically with this bubble counter here. So you actually can see it's like coming out a little bit faster and you see how this is like maybe two, two bubbles a second. Um, and essentially you're going to play with this for a while to dial it in. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so this is, this is going here already. Um, you want to also check to make sure that there's no leak. Um, and when I turn this on, you 
I kind of heard a hissing sound. So what I'm going to do here is basically tighten this guy just a little bit more um, so that so that it's good and that's pretty much it here um, and yeah so you can see here that right there breaks it into fine bubbles kind of hard to see and that's what you want small fine bubbles So yeah, so that's how you install a CO2 tank.